gonna put the back together now. Um, I'm gonna start with this because uh, this thing was giving me a fit. I don't know why this screw right here is not brass, um, but it's not. There's another uh, screw in here uh, that holds the rotor and coil to the back plate, which one of them was brass and the other was, was not. So I don't know what the deal is with that. When doing this, it's kind of tricky. You have to put the, the one piece in the one side and then you have to put this kind of washer thing down in there. And then you gotta hold it in place and flip it over and then take the screw, and drop it down in there and get it to catch. And uh, why this was giving me a fit is like uh, it doesn't seem like this screw is the original one and um, doesn't exactly fit but I tried some other screws and then they were no better so I'll go with this um, so I wanna what I want to do is get it go in there and tighten down and it's gonna hold this whole bug assembly um, to the back of the case and it's might just take me a second because like I said I was messing with this and it's usually not this hard um, but this one has been giving me a hard time okay so now it's caught in there now um, it keeps turning the this washer which I don't want but um, now I should be able to tighten it down and if I have to turn the washer again, well, that's what I gotta do. So, so this is usually, you, you get the, uh, once it starts threading in from this side, this is no big deal at all. I also had cleaned these separately and I put those back. The next thing I'm gonna do uh, is just put the name plate back on. And um, of course that's simple. Uh, it just goes on there like that. And then you can use just about anything to bend over the tabs. So it'll stay on there. All right, and something I failed to mention is the alarm switch. Um, what I do with the alarm switch, and again, this is kind of one of these things where you can ask the question legitimately, does that need to be done? Um, what I do is um, I take off the ends of the, the wires, the terminals, and then I put heat shrink tube over the old wires. And um, then I re-solder on the, the terminal ends. And I say, does that have to be done? I, probably not. Um, probably not, but I do it anyway. And then what I do is I, I take the liquid tape and put it at the ends right here and where the terminals meet. So now I got the uh, the nameplate on there. Um, got the switch plate in there. Uh, this clock is really not cooperating with me. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put the alarm switch back on. And that's uh, simple enough uh, because this just goes through like that and you hold it on the back and you take this ring Put it over there, turn it uh, clockwise, and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get it started, but once it gets started, uh, it goes on very easily. And that's, that's it for holding the switch on. Now, the next thing that I typically will do is take this wire, and this wire is going to go right down in here. And this screw is going to go on top of it to hold it in place. Now there's something else that's uh, going to connect here, but it's not a ring. It's just a wire on the bell coil. 
so we can actually start the screw in um, and then just not clamp it down all the way and come back and add the uh, bell coil wire a little bit later. So that's that. We'll come, after we add the wire, we'll tighten that down. The next thing I'm going to do is put the bell assembly back together. So uh, very important, have a little spring on this type, which has the internal spring. You got to drop that down in there. And um, you know whether or not there's a uh, right and a wrong way to put this in, I don't think it matters. Um, so we get that in there. Then um, we have this screw right here and this lock washer. And weirdly enough, I think it's weird, the lock washer actually goes here in between um, the uh, bracket and the bell. So um, I don't have a real good way to do this. I usually just hold it like that and then see if I can get the screw to thread down in there before the whole thing slides around. And uh, do it enough times, it'll happen. So, um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bell assembly on the back here. Yeah, you kidding me. And um, I'm gonna put the bell assembly uh, back on, and and then we're at a a stopping point. Um, we're going to then have to turn our attention to reassembling the movement. So um, you could look at that as a a separate part of the process. All right, so I finally got the uh, bell onto the bracket here with the lock, lock washer in the right place. Um, so our next step is gonna be take the vibration dampening washers, placing them right there. Um, I'm gonna use some wood to hold, hold things in place. Put the lock washers on the screws that hold the bell assembly to the back. And um, what I typically will do is take a piece of wood like this, bring it down, and hold one end while I get the other, the first screw started. And once I get the first screw uh, started in there, then I can take out the piece of wood and the other screw will go down in there. Okay, so there's that side. And finally we have this side. got the two wires now coming off the bell coil so one of them is going to wrap around to right here where we put um, the wire coming off the switch so I'm going to tighten this down somewhat I don't want to do too much I don't want the fake light to break But um, it's going to be this wire right here. It's going to come back and it's going to go in here with this wire. So we can do that now. And the other wire coming off the bell coil works we're best to, to wait on that one because that one <clears throat> is going to this one right here is going to attach to this screw with one of the leads from the coil 
so there's not really any point in doing anything but it's going to come down and back around like this um, and make a connection there so that's uh this is assembling the back and now our next step is going to be to assemble the movement and when we get the movement together we can attach it to the back and then we can test it and see that everything's working correctly.